Hello, Dave McGrail here with Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I have two of my colleagues with me today assisting, Lieutenant Brock Heiss, Lieutenant Jim Remley, both from the Denver Fire Department. Today we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at the nozzle operator positions and points of contact, as well as backup firefighter operations. Brock, would you show the folks exactly what you do in terms of points of contact for effective, safe nozzle operations? You bet, Chief. Thank you. It's important to emphasize that there's a lot of great nozzle mechanic techniques that have been taught and continue to be taught. So use what works best for you. Some things that work best for me, I prefer my inside leg to be up, that knee up, closest to the hose line. A good athletic stance being on the balls of my feet. I then take the hose line as high as I can into my armpit. That's a good contact point. My next contact point is my elbow, same side as my knee up, into my inner thigh. That's a great pinch point. Gives me a lot of leverage to combat that nozzle reaction. I want to make sure that I have that bail about an arm's length out in front of me. Gives me good maneuverability of my hose stream. I can sound the floor out in front. I can sweep the floor out in front, cleaning out any needles that may be on the ground in front of me or any other debris for that matter. This is what that action would look like. Excellent job, guys. Brock, can you do us a favor and now show us some of the critical components for safe and effective backup man operations to properly support the nozzle operator? You bet, Chief. First and foremost, it's important to understand when you have a charged hose line, it wants to maintain its weight one place. That's on the ground. Here, where the backup firefighter is demonstrating is an absolute great place to maintain that nozzle reaction driving into the ground and even further behind him. He's got his knee on it here. You can also do it with two hands on the hose line. And then in regards to a backup firefighter for an advancement of a hose line while we're flowing, I personally like that he mirrors whatever that nozzle person is doing. In this case, we both have our inside knees up, both have the same pinch points from our upper armpit to our inner thigh. And then when we make that advancement, we're making it together in unison. Five more feet, Jimmy. Three more feet, Jimmy. Excellent job, guys. So there you have it. There's some good information for you and some good techniques so that you can have a safe, effective operation at both the nozzle and where the backup firefighter is. Your takeaways are those points of contact and the importance of that line staying on the ground so that nozzle reaction energy can be transmitted to the ground and that backup firefighter can pin that line to the ground. When the movement starts, backup firefighter mirrors the operation of the nozzle firefighter, they advance forward. Thank you, Lieutenant Remley. Thank you, Lieutenant Heiss. This has been Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave McGrail.